125 under square root plus 25 under square root upon 125 under square root minus 25 under square root. How do we simplify this? So, there are two ways that we can simplify this. First, we simplify the radicals here. 125, we can write it as 25 times 5, then plus square root of 25 upon, again, 25 times 5 minus square root of 25. Now, when a times b is under square root, it means square root of a times square root of b. So, here we can write square root of 25 times square root of 5 plus square root of 25 upon square root of 25 times square root of 5 minus square root of 25. Now, we can take square root of 25 common here and write square root of 5 plus 1 then upon square root of 25 again common and then square root of 5 minus 1. Now, we can cancel these two like factors. Now, we have square root of 5 plus 1 upon square root of 5 minus 1. Now, to further simplify it, we have to rationalize the denominator. To rationalize the denominator, we multiply and divide by the conjugate of the denominator. Conjugate of x plus y is x minus y. So, conjugate of square root of 5 minus 1 will be square root of 5 plus 1. So, let us rationalize the denominator. So, square root of 5 plus 1 upon square root of 5 minus 1. We multiply and divide by the same number because th in that way, there is no difference in the number. We can easily cancel these numbers. It will be equal to 1. Multiplying by 1 has the same result. The number does not change. That is why we multiply and divide by the same number. So, the conjugate is square root of 5 plus 1. So, we multiply and divide by square root of 5 plus 1. Now, we have square root of 5 plus 1 times square root of 5 plus 1 upon square root of 5 minus 1 times square root of 5 plus 1. Now, it is in the form of a plus b times a plus b and we can write it as a plus b whole square. So, square root of 5 plus 1 whole square upon and the denominator is in the form of a minus b times a plus b. So, differences of square. So, we can write a square minus b square. So, we can write square root of 5 square minus 1 square. Now, a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. So, it is square root of 5 square plus 2 times square root of 5 plus 1 upon. We can remove the square root with the square. So, this is 5 minus 1. Here also we can remove the square root with the square. So, it is 5 plus 1 is 6 plus 2 times square root of 5 upon 5 minus 1 is 4. Now, we can take 2 here common. So, 2 parenthesis 3 plus square root of 5 upon 4. Now, 2 times 2 is 4. So, answer is 3 plus square root of 5 upon 2. So, this is one method of simplifying it. In another method, we do not simplify the radicals and we just rationalize from the beginning. Here also, we will use the same concept of conjugate. So, square root of 125 plus square root of 25 upon square root of 125 minus square root of 25. We rationalize it. So, multiply and divide by the conjugate. So, 125 plus square root of 25 upon 125 under square root plus square root of 25. So, this is 125 under square root plus 25 under square root whole square upon 125 under square root whole square minus square root of 25 square. Now, this is a plus b whole square. So, 125 under square root whole square plus 2 times 125 under square root times 25 under square root plus 
25 under square root square then upon remove the square root with this square 125 minus 25 we remove the square root with this square so it is 125 plus 2 125 under square root we can write it as 25 under square root times 5 under square root then 25 under square root plus 25 upon 125 minus 25 is 100 125 plus 25 is 150 plus 2 times square root of 25 is 5 and this times 5 then square root of 5 upon 100 or we have 150 plus 50 times square root of 5 upon 100 now we can take 50 common so 50 parenthesis 3 plus square root of 5 upon 100 now 50 times 2 is 100 so answer is 3 plus square root of 5 upon 2 so you can use any of these two methods which method did you like more let me know in the comment section thanks for watching